Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastardess Britain. Where we last left our nation, we were invading the Charua in South America, and we're also fighting Yemen and Persia. I guess Multan, but they're, I think, just a vassal of Persia or something, yeah. So Persia's been fairly tough due to their mountainous forts and they had a troop advantage and they're Shiite and they've got pretty decent um, national ideas so they've had uh, some successes Mech and Truba they will kill them I have to wait for some more men before we kill the next batch Okay, we're trying to get Persia to peace out separately. And our colonies have just finished. So let's try to get a couple more. Well, one there. And one there. So we'll need two units of troops to protect those. And we could increase the size of our army pretty drastically right now. I think we might do that, just the question is where. Okay, we could make a template. How many men can be in our front row? 40. We're allowed 50 troops. So we'll just go a little bit over. Because as we expand, we're going to get a higher force limit. Okay, Persia. I think once we capture this fort, they will peace out. Let's check on debt for our subjects. doing California what are you doing okay let's try to get California some more production income or something and same with Poland because they're still suffering economically I guess we could build manufactories in their country as well. Okay, we're going to have to put those down. Oof, they're almost done with that fort and then they'll be able to attack us here but there's mountains there's five reasons stay in the mountains safest place for us to be I guess We've almost captured both of those forts. Nope. 
wait for them to get locked in. Switzerland is attacking Savoy. Okay, and we are smashing their fleet. Let's send the big ships over there to help out. So we did lose three big ships ourselves. All of the beat up ships into port. And let's get rid of this trade ship we just took from them. Everyone's being up on Savoy now. Let's march this army over here. Okay, stack wipe their army. I think their other force arrived on the same day, so they were instantly forced into a retreat without any loss of morale or anything. Sunk some more of their ships. Yeah, we could force a peace upon them now. But I want to mess up their navy a little bit more and capture this fort. because they've proven themselves to be pretty strong. So let's weaken them a little bit. Okay, nothing to take for ourselves. And does Iraq? Iraq does have... Let's do something slightly different. Take all of this for ourselves. We'll take that province, and that one, and that one, and that one, and even that one. Okay, let's sign our peace deal down here. Make some cash. Plus the fort. I put those guys in rebel suppression right there. Let's go ahead and get better unit types. Let's go for these ones because they have more offensive power. If we can get three more units already. Oh, we're about to get into a fight. Well, we'll kill those rebels. They're just rebels. I captured Muscat. So, Persia is low enthusiasm. They are going to have to end their alliance with Jampur. And give us some cash. You know, Yemen 
going to get four next. Okay, now the reason why we did it that way is that we can grant some provinces. Let's pay off their debt. Grant them provinces. Bring down their liberty desire. Let's not saddle them with any forts that they don't need. Some Socotra. And uh, Eden, Sana, and Mocha. Okay, we do have a free diplomat, so let's start annexing Poland. They haven't been able to pay off their budget. We could always vassalize somebody else up in that region. Okay, just started this video. We're 12 minutes in. Who do we want to attack next? Thinking. Let me get these guys back over there. And we attack Elodia. And lots of provinces are stuck inland that we can't actually convert yet, or uh, core yet. Okay, bourgeoisie, let's grant the monopoly charters and get the diplo support. Sure, Poland. Sure, Iraq. Let's get everyone down here. We don't have a truce with you, do we? No. Poland could deal with that for us, I'm sure. Or Iraq could. Somebody who has troops right there. Chile doesn't like us much. I understand. But might have to punish them if they're too rude to us. And let's go ahead and do some of these Japanese ones. Hundred thousand troops, that should be enough for an invasion of Bamanis. Couldn't just declare war here. I don't care about waiting for the first of the month. Because their capital fort is our war goal. It's the closest and it's already being paid. Okay, we're far ahead of time, so we're going to raise war taxes. And we could pay down our inflation. A 
But we've got better uses for admin points, I believe. We want this level of tech. They're ping their forts, so let's just attack. Send one army up that way. And one army up that way. Pull our fleet out. Which we should split in half later. Uh, sure, it's just money. Breton La Plata. Let's see. What do we want to name that after? I think we picked up some new subscribers. We are going to name that Breton Yudong. Sounds Asian. Probably not a coincidence. Uh, let's do Kolima. Okay, we do star overextension. Or have our rivals Muscovy? Sure. Let's be friends, Muscovy. Would put a ring on it. If we weren't already over our limit. We'll send you some cash or something if we really need to. Okay, we could push more trade power. any of those ways. But we wanted to do it here. Yeah, we could just wreck their trade fleet. That's not a cool thing to do. Let's collect the benefits over time. And let's go ahead and upgrade all these ships. We don't need any of those trade ships. Let's build that up and split these. And no one we care about there. But we did want to get this mission complete. Our great power. How much would it cost? I'm just curious. Seventeen hundred ducats. Not worth it for five prestige and twenty-five diplo power. Because that's producing, you know, that much money could get us a lot of, a lot of months worth of some sort of, like this guy. Maya, that's in Kamchatka, I believe. Yeah. We have a colonist in route there. We have one in route there. Okay, we've cracked the walls in both of these forts, and their fleet is heading out to sea. And a mocha. Well, they've got troops around there. Nothing else. We can pull this army back. I 
Okay, how are they doing? Transports are still repairing. Okay, these ones seem to be done. So we'll put them over here. I'm going to send one three-decker to accompany them. So that they have 24. And the one that's waiting for ships to repair will also wait for another three-decker. Their trips are moving north for some reason. Um, this place must be repairing ships more effectively. Let's see if there's a ship repair place there already. Nope. So we'll just build one here and there. Okay, Lodians went west. That's pretty smart of them. We have 71 for a score and no overextension. So as soon as we capture this, we're just going to reduce them to a one province miner in Darfur and start coring that stuff. Yeah, they really could put this stuff down. They've got the troops to do it. Pay off their debt, pay off their debt. And they're afraid to meet us in combat. Even in hills so far. I think they're in another war. Yeah, they're fighting Bengua all and uh, Maywar. That's why they move their troops north. Okay, somebody's moving in here. It's just these 4,000 of us. They'll be instantly stack wiped. And let's just go for the capital. We'll hit them here along the way. We could take it all, but I see absolutely no reason to do so. Force religion, yeah, become Protestant and give us war reps. Uh, let's deal with this because we're not going to leave these trips here. We need to get them over back into their rocky territory. Could deal with the rebels. Bust the forts. And hope we have some sort of military access to get over there. We do not. We could ask somebody for access. I think we'll just move this fleet. How badly hurt are you guys? Not very. So have to wait a year for that other ship. So yeah, over here, we'll pick you up, drop you off. And now that they're out of debt, it looks like they are trying to put down the rebels. Uh, Poland, I mean. Just take a look at South America, make sure there's no rebel issues. Nope. Sure, Lydia. And let's take a look at the debt of all of our subjects. Well, 
California is not in debt. There we are. And let's see how long this video has been going on. 25 minutes. I don't think we're going to finish this war this session. Okay, it looks like they have peasants, Chilean separatists, and our subject. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to help suppress them. And now we control cloth production. Their relations with Muscovy are almost good enough. Should be this month, yeah. Complete our mission. Colonize Roanoke, sure. Let's see if there's any new policies that we can put in place. And this one would be really good. Um, and this one will be really great for annexations. Let's put it in place. Do you want that? Yeah, I do want the three of these, so I'm not going to put in place our other policy, but I really want to put this in place. Uh, this would be good for another Diplo relation at the cost of military points. Let's see if we can capture this fort. We did. So that's our capital. Chase them down here. Okay, I want to save this. And let's go through and take a look by continent at a very fast. Um, timeline. So you can skip ahead. That's all we're doing in this video. If you've seen this too many times. This is Europe. Seventeen sixty one. So we've got like sixty years left. We've accomplished a lot in the last sixty years, so this should be this should involve a lot of expansion. Okay, so that is Europe. And as a reminder, we do control these islands. We've got personal union over Spain. And Poland is our subject. Okay, let's take a look at North America. Super fast. And for those who just tuned in to the last few videos, we started in the Caribbean. You can see that's where we're filling in. And then next we go for Florida, then for Mexico. And we lose some of it to rebels temporarily and then take it back for a subject. We're just involved in too many conflicts at the time. We have the troops ready to put down those rebels. The Spanish are going over here pretty rapidly, which is nice. Okay, South America. Super fast. We don't get in there until we start beating up on Carib. Up in the Columbia region. So that's or Muisca. Yeah. Everyone leaves the Incans alone for quite some time. 
Spanish take Brazil, you know, as they're wont to do. Take over the Caribbean region, or the um, Caribbean region. I'm gonna beat up on Chile. Okay, let's look at Africa next. This one takes us some time. The first stuff we take are some of the islands off the west coast of Africa. And then we go for South Africa. And then the Benin region. So there's a lot we don't have. But we could take out some of this stuff, like Mali and Congo, Kilwa, Buha, Marahan, Falodi. Each of those are a single war. Tunis might take two. And let's take a look at Asia. including Australia. Our first moves will be to capture some of the islands and then go for the Maldives or Maldives off of the southwestern coast of India. And we attack Iraq. Get some stuff in Australia. And then Spice Islands are what we're taking right now. We're feeding the rock. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot that we still need to take. Uh, we've gotten footholds into various regions. Okay, that's all I'm going to be doing tonight. Thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Britain. If you like this please consider giving the video a thumbs up subscribing to my channel or putting some supportive comments in the comment section below you could also become a patron through patreon where you give you know some amount of money a dollar or more i could just give me a dollar a month for um for patreon and it just encourages content creators anyway i will see you guys all shortly